Hi Cancer, welcome in. There will be no time stamps in this reading. This is going to be just a whatever comes out. Thank y'all so much for liking the video. I really appreciate all of the support. Be sure to only take the messages that resonate. If a message doesn't resonate, leave it for someone else. You can always check your other signs or check back next time. What is the message for cancer? Nine of cups. Okay, so there's a blessing coming towards you. Something you've wished for. Six of cups. A soulmate. There's someone that you have wished for, Cancer. There's someone from your past. Okay, you have memories with this person, whether this be past life memories or memories from this life. Could be another water sign. How does Cancer see this person? The Ten of Cups. You're in love with somebody. It's a lot of emotion. How do they see cancer? Queen of Pentacles. That you're unique. Cancer, you could be someone that is work focused and they know this about you. But they see you as someone who's very nurturing, mature, someone who can really, the Queen of Pentacles can really do it all. She has it together. They see you as someone who has all of the qualities they're looking for in another person. How do they feel about cancer? The Six of Cups energy, this could be somebody from your past, Cancer, or this could be somebody that you are friends with, somebody that you have a history with. How do they feel about Cancer? They're in mental conflict over you. They feel anxious. There's a lot of anxiety they feel towards you and about the situation. I'm getting this person has a hard time sleeping. They're very restless. Tell me more about their feelings, please. They're losing patience. So they're losing patience with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. The Two of Pentacles, they've made a decision to invest, okay? I feel like they weren't certain with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, the King of Wands in reverse. This person was not taking action in the past because they were unsure. But with the Emperor in the upright, I feel like this person is pretty dang sure now what it is they want. Page of Swords, they want to tell you what's going on in their head with the Nine of Swords, the Page of Swords. I feel like this person could be keeping tabs on you in some way. If they're not keeping tabs on you, they have been online researching. You know, this person has really been restless, looking for all kinds of answers. Okay, they're looking for any kind of a sign or an answer. I feel like this person really wants to communicate their thoughts to you. And they want to tell you what they're thinking. So, so what do they want to do? It was just the Nine of Pentacles again and the Two of Pentacles. 
So what do they want to do about this spirit? Okay. Are they with someone else? Ten of Pentacles. This person is with somebody else, Cancer. Because that what they want to do is leave the location they're at. We got the Seven of Swords, the Two of Wands. Me as a reader, this is somebody sneaking away from a relationship. This is somebody sneaking away from another partner. Okay. And then this is extra clarification with the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, which talks about long-term partnership. There is somebody that they share assets with. Uh, they fear your judgment upon that. Okay. With the judgment card coming out underneath the Ten of Pentacles, it's almost an energy if they want you to forgive them. Okay. For being this deceptive because it is deception coming towards you. And the deception is because they are sneaking around on somebody else cancer. So I feel like you have clarity on that with the Ace of Swords. You know, it's up to you uh, with what you want to do with that. But there is a reunion coming towards you. Three of Cups. There is communication coming towards you from somebody who... You know, you two fell in love with each other, um, Cancer. And I'm getting like... It wasn't planned. I feel like it wasn't planned. I don't get a bad energy from this person, but you know, you should be mindful of this because if somebody is with somebody else, what are the chances, uh, you know, especially if they're married, that's a very difficult situation. And I feel like somebody should be showing you that they're out of something before you can't, before you involve yourself with them. So I would keep your heart guarded. Looks like your heart's wide open. Um, but in this situation, I would keep your heart guarded, but it does look like this person is wanting to communicate. What are their next actions? Devil in reverse to unattach themselves from somebody else. This is somebody that's breaking free from another situation. It's just the current energy right now. Justice in reverse. Okay. Yeah. So I do see this person getting a divorce or releasing themselves from whatever it is that they are legally obligated to. Okay, I, I do see them releasing themselves from it in the future. What's their hidden truth towards cancer? What is their hidden truth towards cancer? They wish you guys could go back and re-meet each other. Yeah, so someone's telling me that they can't reach out to you because there's another person here with the Seven of Swords, the Ace of Swords, Page of Swords, Nine of Swords. They're being watched by somebody else. I'm just going to keep it real with you, Cancer. Somebody else is keeping tabs on them. Somebody else is watching their phone, going through their phone with that Page of Swords. That's why they're in mental conflict. That's why they can't reach out. But this person is wanting to make the decision to come see you with the Ace of Swords, the Two of Wands, the Seven of Swords. I feel like this person wants to see you before they go through with any kind of divorce or unattachment here. But I do feel like after they see you, they are going to want to detach themselves. And I'm getting that the outcome is the devil in reverse, justice in reverse. The outcome is they will be releasing themselves from this situation. However, mm -hmm. 
what they're hung up on is they know it isn't in their mind. They feel like it's not right to do to whoever this other person is. So I feel like this person has a guilty conscience leaving something else behind. I am afraid to contact you. I lost myself for a little while. What is Cancer's advice? What is Cancer's advice? Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Don't wait around. Uh, I mean, you know, it looks like this person is taking the necessary steps. I do see that in the future. But your guides are saying, do not wait around for this person. You have to live your life, okay? You can't put your life on hold. Eight of Swords, exactly. Don't restrict yourself from pursuing other options. Don't keep yourself held back and don't be stuck on somebody that has all of this to take care of. I know it's incredibly hard, okay? Especially because your feelings for this person are very intense with the, all this cup energy. You're, you're definitely in love with somebody. But I feel like you're going to need to try your hardest to focus your attention on other projects, okay? Like on your own personal goals. Spirit, what else? The lovers. Six of Pentacles. It's definitely an intense connection that surpasses logic with the lovers. You guys have a lot of passion for one another. And I feel like it's one of those connections it feels like you two have had many lifetimes together. That's how it feels to both of you. But in order to give this person the space they need to figure out what they're going to do with their own life, you have to move forward and focus on yourself and your own life. That will create space and release resistance from this person. Energetically, that creates space for this person to take care of. They don't, they're not enjoying their life wherever they are. They're not enjoying their life at all. Especially when they're over here, anxious, restless, wanting to be where you are, wanting to know what you're up to, wanting to communicate with you and feeling like they can't, wanting to see you and feeling like they can't. But then there's also this other area of their brain that feels incredibly guilty for treating somebody else unfairly because they do, Cancer, feel like they're treating someone else unfairly at the same time. But I do see them releasing themselves from that guilt. All right, Cancer, those are your messages. I hope this gave you some clarity. If it did, I do appreciate y'all hitting the like button and until next time, bye.